Um, the main goal for today, I guess, is to finish building out that salt geyser uh, slash uh, oxygen production system. Then maybe work on the natural gas because I think that might turn off today. And oil as well, if we can get onto that. And that's the next Okay. Hi, Bon. G'day, Elixir. G'day, Glooms. G'day, Bon. Um, hey, Mox. I saw, I got an interesting uh, little notice today from Twitch. Uh, they have this new thing where you can, you can kind of opt in to this ad campaign. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with like the inner workings of Twitch ads and whatever. I, I currently don't have them turned on the in-stream ads. So the only ads that you'll ever get on my stream is like when you first join. And beyond that, I don't know. I don't, I just, I'm not a huge fan of people being cut away from seeing live content to watch an ad. Like you can't just go back and watch what you missed either. Or you, you can, but it's a bit annoying to do that. So I'd rather don't, especially because there's, there's not a huge incentive to do that. Um, but anyway, the, the new incentive thing that Twitch has proposed or they, they've started to implement, actually, you can opt into it. So it's not, uh, they didn't force it, but, um, you basically sign up for a monthly, uh, I want to say contract, but it's not like that serious, a monthly contract. And, um, it'll say you stream this amount of hours, you play like one minute of ads every hour. And if you do that for the month, then you will get X amount of dollars. Like they, they make it really easy to see exactly how much you will get from the ads when otherwise it's just, it's anyone's guess really. <laughs> so like that part of it is okay. I don't mind that. The only problem is the amount that you would get is different for everyone. Like when I look at mine, it says I would get maybe $40 or something. In fact, let me, I'll have a look. Um, it was pretty low, pretty low. Hold on. Based on country. I, I'm sure it's based on, you know, country viewership, blah, 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 and how much you likely would have earned anyway. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so if I run one minute of ads per hour, per hour, every hour, and stream 41 hours in the month, I would get $24. <laughs> like what? <laughs> and at the moment, just for reference, like I said, I don't have any ads, not a single ad, except for like the ones that I can't, I can't get rid of when people join. And even with that, with running no ads, I currently make $20, $19.38 cents from ads. So roughly $20 and they're offering me $24 to run ads <laughs> for 40 hours of the month. Like what? You're going to give me five extra dollars to run 40 ads. Come on, man. That's so dumb. And like you can, you can accept more lucrative offers if I run two minutes of ads per hour or three minutes of ads per hour. But like, what is this? If, if I just put my own ads without accepting this thing, I would make way more. I mean, theoretically, but like, what is that? It's so dumb. I don't know if it's beta and it will, it will change, but it just sounds 
ridiculous. Anyway, just, uh, just me doing a bit of a rant, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what Twitch is trying to do. No one likes ads. Nobody likes watching an ad. Like, it takes you away from what you actually care about watching. And I know people be like, yeah, I'll, I'll support the creator, I'll sit through an ad, whatever. But a lot of people are just going to leave, and I would rather keep my audience. Like, if it makes a difference between losing 5% of my viewers and making like 20 cents, I would rather keep the viewers. Like, it's just not worth it. <laughs> Do raid promotion? Legit, if I if I did a, a Raid Shadow Legends promotion, they I've had a lot of offers from them too. They they offer pretty much anyone who has like a small following. They would give me like 250 bucks easy for like a two hour thing. But yeah. I don't really care about Raid Shadow Legends. So, my goal for today is to do with this thing. Game Girls, thank you very much. Welcome on in guys. Appreciate the raid. Um, we just started, so very good timing. We're going to be dealing with this dude today. It's going to be open in 12 cycles, so hopefully we'll get all of our systems ready by then. Gonna, gonna be a bit of a, a bit of a stretch. We'll see. Another issue, I, like, it's very, very cold here. As you can see. So just having cold water in here, it's, it might even freeze just sitting here, because it's already cold. Um, so that is a bit of a... Tr Bit of a yeah see it's freezing right there brian ice i may need to warm it up just to be able to use it hmm but anyway my plan was to send it kind of down here because this is always going to be hot and then send it to a place where i can use it Maybe like here, I don't know. Or it, it, it could be somewhere where, you know what? I'm so conflicted. Thank you, Brandy, for the follow as well. If I build it here, it'd be nice because they don't need like exosuits to be able to use it. Or maybe here, that doesn't have like slime right there. But here is where I'm going to put more of these. 30%? Oh, and that's 66. Wow. That changed quicker than I thought it did. That it thought it would. Um, no, nah, I think I will make it around here. It won't stay cold for long. It's weird how the literal ice biome... Oh, we have another... Cool slush. Oh, that's polluted water. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That's really cool. At what price would you be down to lose 5% of viewership due to ads? Ah, that's a good question. I don't know. Not $20. <laughs> like, honestly, my I don't really make a huge, huge amount of money from Twitch. Like... I wouldn't be able to do only Twitch. I, I make more money from YouTube as it is, as it stands. So I, I've i turned down a lot of things for Twitch because it's not really my my money maker at the moment. And YouTube is, YouTube is what I care about for money. Um, I think I might chuck it around here. Although, then they have to go all the way across. That's... I don't know. And you produce power from cool steam. 
Well, yeah, it's steam. You can produce power from steam. But I think the warmer it is, the more power you can produce. So, ideally, this will come out at like 110 degrees or something. You'd want it warmer than that, I think. I think. Don't quote me on that, though. Hi, Katarina. How are you doing? I might slow it down a little bit so I can kind of work out. 125 is it, Lampro? Okay. This is uh, this is a Terrania world, <clears throat> and I've also got the swampy one, swampy one over here. Oh, they they vented it. Nice. Natural gas. How much natural gas does it produce when it vents? Also, I need a liquid lock here. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I don't have a liquid lock. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Maybe I'll put it here. That would be smart, huh? I, I don't think the natural gas is going to go down and the chlorine goes down, so it doesn't matter a huge amount, but just to kind of keep things where they should be, you know? And need one of these bad boys. Got some new printables. What is this? Copper ore. Wow. What is all this food? Crystal berry. Oh, the mushrooms are done. Okay. Did we get rid of the meal lice? Yes. Good. Man, we have a huge amount of food now. It says insufficient oxygen. So right now, we're kind of counting down 10 tons of algae. When that hits zero, I mean, we, we still have a little bit more, so we could get more in a pinch if we needed it, but hopefully we can transition to um, salt, <laughs> salt water by then and electrolyzers. So I've already got the blueprint ready to go. Not that one. Oops. This one? I reckon uh, two electrolyzers will be good. I seem to remember it's one electrolyzer for every five dupes. So that would be enough for ten. Is that right? So I could just get away with a small-ish one. And chuck that somewhere here. Or there. Is there anything around here? Not really. If I build it here, then I have to track everything back through. I might build it up there. But yeah, if I don't want to go with that one, I've got the bigger one. <laughs> this has four. Has four. That's even got uh, one, two, three, four, Hydrogen eaters, whatever they're called, hydrogen things. Whereas this one does not, so I would have to build my own. Honestly, I think I might go with this. If I want more, I can just make another one. I don't need the massive one. Let me see. Just for reference. They, they eat a lot of water, that's fine. And... They produce 888 grams per second. So it could even be more because the dupes, where is it? Oxygen usage. 
go back to yesterday. We use 500 grams of oxygen. They spend a fair bit of time in their suits, so they don't use oxygen that way. Well, 652 out of seven dupes. So we'll say roughly 100 each. That's pretty, pretty easy that I could get away with one for that. So two would be plenty for now. V6, yeah. Oh, damn it. Whatever. <laughs> Gonna fire that bot, I swear. But yeah, I'm gonna build this. We'll chuck it. I don't want to build it super close to that. I'll just put it like here. It'll be really handy to have here too, because one, it's cold here. So this stuff will warm up and then I can use the cold, whatever, salt water to warm that up or to cool that down too. Dirty Rodriguez. What makes it dirty? It's fine. Although I'm going to have to get rid of... What is this? Gold Amalgam. Hmm. Or maybe I make it out of Gold Amalgam. Yeah, it's the half one. <laughs> All right. I don't know what is this. I'm just a random thing that I've copied there. <laughs> I like how that's stuck. Okay, so these are the ones that I can't build yet. Awaiting gold amalgam. Do I just not have gold amalgam? I've got a little bit. Oh, it wants gold, 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 right, right, no, that's copper. Is it for this? I can't even see like what it is. Okay, so these are Atmo sensors. We'll build it out of lead instead. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Atmo sensor. Bang. Cool. I got rid of a wire as well. Automation wire. Nice. It still says it's made out of gold. Come on, man. Nice. Hello, Kay. Buongiorno. Come stai? Um, I think that's good. What is this made out of? It's just unreachable. That's fine. So, obviously, I'll need to make a little way for them to get in. Then they can build that and then it'll be fine. That is for water, good. And that comes out that side. I might change that. What are they making that out of, by the way? Granite. 
Why, why did I choose granite? <laughs> I'm just, I'm questioning my choices here. Is that just what I had? To call overheat temperature 15. That's not really that necessary. Do I have much granite just around anyway? Like, is it going to take them twice as long to make it? I've got plenty. Okay. i ask for a quick explanation of how this game works. So, you start with some duplicates and you can get more. These, uh, these dudes who go around and do things for you. And also, look at him. <laughs> so happy to eat this lovely food. It's a colony simulation game. You, you work towards self-sustainability and um, producing the things that you need to live, like air, food, water, and, and maintaining other things like temperature, power. There's like 50 different overlays to manage oxygen, power, temperature. Uh, even light is somewhat important. Um, water, gases, uh, you need to make sure that they're, they're happy. This is the decor overlay that keeps them happy. You manage like their daily schedule, their priorities, you give them skills, you research things, you go out into space. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to do. It's, it's very, very difficult to explain this game in like less than a minute. It's got so much going for it. Tired, same. Same, same, same. I told you guys, I've been trying to go to sleep like earlier in the hopes that I would, you know, just get, get more sleep. But I just wake up earlier. It's such a pain. I had a terrible sleep. I, I woke up at like 3, then I woke up at 5, then I woke up at 6. It's like, bro, come on. I'm tired. I need sleep. <laughs> Let me sleep, stupid brain. Actually, would it be better to make this out of um, insulated tiles? I don't think it matters too much. Suffering from success. I'm just going to keep doing it until it works. I'm, I'm resolute. I'm going to continue going to bed early. Until my brain works it out that that's what's necessary. Thank you, Keizo. Give it a sub to K. <laughs> How many months of gifted subs is that, K? Eight? I think you might be in the lead now. <laughs> well deserved, though. Yeah, much appreciated, Keizo. Thank you very much. Nails. That's just because you're slow. Yeah. I love these fire poles. I hope that will reduce commute time. I think it will a little. Not by a huge amount until we get plastic going, but that's a little bit further away. So, while they're building that, let's go over to our... Ooh, what happened here? How did that get through? So, this is almost built it up. Almost. Built. Come on. Why is that sticking? No. <laughs> Stop it. 
So we can almost start to work with this oil, is what I was going to say. Um, we need an oil refinery, converts crude oil into petroleum. Thankfully, the oil is not super hot. It's 78 degrees. When it comes out of here... doesn't tell me, but like you can see it's 78 degrees here, roughly 80 degrees. So that's fine. 80 degrees is good. We can use gold amalgam because we've got a fair bit of it. Do we have a fair bit of it? Gold amalgam? Gold amalgam. No, we can't use gold amalgam. We can use lead. No, not lead. Um, what do we got? Cobalt. Cobalt is what we have here. Don't care about bog bucket seeds anymore. We've just been living off bog buckets. We're going to need more salt too. It is eight. Amazing. I keep track of it somewhere. Because of, of course I do. We also don't have a liquid pump here. We're going to need that. So does this cobalt have any kind of effect? Not really. High thermal conductivity if I make it out of aluminium. Eh, it'll be fine. So the overheat temperature will be... Oh, actually, no, it'll be 75 and it's 78, so that's no good. So I may need to send some gold amalgam. Okay, let's do that then. Metal ore... Gold amalgam. How much should we send? We only have three and a half tons. Sweep that. That's... wait. Two tons right there? Why is it all in there? Here we go. Okay. Done that for now. We don't have that much, but we can we can hopefully get some more. There we got more around the place. Sand, sand. Little sand. Old amalgam there and there. Okay. Yay, April. So we'll send that. Soon. And then they can use that. Oh, they're using it here too. Why it's Sogano. Look at that. Lovely golden Melgen. <laughs> Let's just walk through water to get to work. Got another mouse. I just saw another one. Damn. You guys got so many mice.
They had babies. Oh. Wait, what happened to the power? Why is it not on? It's zero, so it should turn it on, right? Pipe blocked. Uh, ah, yeah, yo, whoa, hey. What give? Eh? Let me... Nip, snip. There you go. But it's only gonna go... What is this? Uh. What? Oh, it's uh... Why did I open this? Why did I open that? Fine. So I can only, I can have either that running, or that running, <laughs> apparently. I'll need to, I'm just gonna, it would be better if I just pump that straight into there, because it's all going to be carbon dioxide. I don't know what I'm even, why I'm having this stupid circuit for. Just go round and round and round for no discernible reason. <laughs> it goes back. <laughs> Retreat. Is Glow still alive? Yeah, they're still going. I haven't lost any dupes yet. Where are they at? They're currently going to dig. <laughs> they always, they look kind of angry happy just all the time. Why is that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. You do you. Hundred and twenty six cycles old. Oh you got the sunny disposition, that's why. That's why. <laughs> also balloon artist. You're literally Wes. So how is this doing? Now, I don't like having to micromanage this. Not good. I have six to eight babies at a time. We caught four. Neighbor got one, so that's five. One outside. Damn. They have babies so quickly too. They just, they don't waste any time, you know? <laughs> Okay, did we send the gold to Melbourne? Did we send it? Gold. Exactly one ton? How did I manage that? Holy shit. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm not sure if it'll be enough, but hopefully. Golden. So this will get, keep me covered until 125 degrees. I won't have to worry about it until then. And this is liquid pipe will be good up till 100. And because it goes to 80, we should be fine with that too. Gonna need power. Making this out of lead. Lead 
It uh, is. It doesn't even say the overheat temperature, so. It'll be fine. Does it have an overheat temperature? Eh, it doesn't seem so. Unless it, like, boils. <laughs> One outside was a parent, so hopefully they only managed to have babies once. I mean... <laughs> until the, the children go up, I guess. <laughs> I don't think they really have the same kind of rules that we do. As humans. What was this again? A volcano? Sulfur, guys. Sulfur. Liquid sulfur. Liquid sulfur. What is sulfur good for? Is that what you need for the... No, that's sucrose. What do you do with sulfur? Have I even seen sulfur? Oh, that thing. Oh, it looks so cool. Yeah, I remember that. What is it good for? Sulfur. Oh, I can make fullerene. Or I can grow grub fruit. So it, it is used by these guys. I thought they wanted sucrose. Oh, they make sucrose. Right. So this thing, 115 degrees it needs to be. It'll be hotter than 115 degrees. Yikes. Hmm. It could be useful. Could be useful. Right now, not really. Also, is grub fruit any good? Because I could grow that. Grub fruit. Uh, it's terrible quality. Okay. A grub fruit that failed to develop properly. But what if I, I get like the good one? Doesn't tell me. I don't know. I mean, it's probably just as good as the stuff that I'm already growing, so not really worth. Anyway, we were over here. Keep getting distracted. This dude is still going. He's trying. So, um, this goes into... Shall we just... I can't really do it there because we got that thing. I'll run into that. So, we might have to go here. First thing we need is the oil refinery and then from oil refinery we get petroleum and then from petroleum you put that in the petroleum generator. Ah, oh, the, the oil refinery also produces natural gas. Other. It's just too much. Too much stuff. I'm gonna build it in here because it's cold. What was this? Oh. Carbon dioxide. Great! Oh yeah, the, the natural gas... No, the petroleum generator also uses carbon dioxide. Which is good fun. How is Ulderai doing? I think he's doing well. He was a bit unhappy for a while. I think he, uh, he got sick for a time, made him unhappy, and then he decided he was going to eat the shittest food that we had, which also made him unhappy. But he's doing alright now. <laughs> 
We got really good food, and he's just like, I'm gonna eat the bugs. That'll be good. Eating the bugs. Goes one, from one Nexus suit to the next one. Good stuff. Okay, also, how do we go with the... With this? We'll put, uh... Put some water in here. So, as I was saying, we need like three different wells, which is a little bit annoying. Also, how cold is it here? Ah. But this will be... It'll be petrol. Oh, petrol. It'll be oil. Crude oil. And that freezes at minus 40. So as long as it's... It's mine. 30. Perfect. So we should be fine. Hey, yeah, T-Dog. I also eat shit food and then be unhappy. Yeah. <laughs> Very relatable. I think we can all relate to that. So that will be there. This is for... Um, this is for oil refinery. So this bad boy is going to make our petroleum. Yes. I think I will put a door there. And then... Might put it like there. And it also make natural gas. So into this we need whatever this is is piping. goes in and out of this comes what comes out polluted water no petroleum duh what I'm talking about um so petroleum can go here kind of I think we'll just try and make a little well or a big well I need to decide how much petroleum I actually want. I think we'll start with that and I'll probably get rid of this because we won't need that. In fact, I might move that for the time being. Put it here. Sorry, Asen. I'm gonna have to Squeeze a little bit. So yeah, I'll move that and then I can expand that further. So that will be a little reservoir for petroleum. Or I could just chuck it into these things. How much does this hold? 150? Five tons. Five tons! Five tons, five tons. And this is one ton. So five tiles. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> uh, it's probably better just to have this, I think. I wish those, these reservoirs, they really should hold more. I think everyone would appreciate that. So then that just goes straight down there. Bang. Into there. That needs power too. Conductive wiring. Like that. Okay, so now we've got petroleum. And with petroleum, we are going to be producing... 
Uh, with petroleum, petroleum, we want power. Petroleum generator. Okay. So I could put that, I could put that kind of here. Or above. No. See, the bad thing about this is it it doesn't come out through a pipe, so I can't pipe it away. It just falls out from underneath. I really wish you could add a pipe kind of extension to it. That would be very handy. I might put that next to this. Petroleum generator. Is that going to be enough space though? Maybe I'll, I'll deal with the off product of this first, because that's going to produce natural gas. Natural gas is powered. But where is the natural gas going to go? You might ask. You might wonder. <laughs> the natural gas needs to go to probably one of these guys, natural gas generator. How much is it going to produce? That is a good question, chat. Um, it doesn't tell me. 90 grams per second. Whereas it produces 10 kilos per second of... Uh, no, it requires 10 kilos of oil per second. And 5 kilos of petroleum, 90 of natural gas. Okay. So basically, half of the oil that we put in is going to turn into gas. Natural gas. Fair enough. Uh... <gasps> Scary. Don't like that. Zombie spores. They live in everything, don't they? Temperature minus 15 to 240. I mean, it's minus 30 over there. You can go it in a farm plot. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, then I don't want to go too far to that side. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. So, um, I just I want to make sure that it's scalable. That's my main issue. So I'll have. This would be petroleum here. We got water here. I could go above. I might. It might be better to go to the side. I don't think I'll expand the oil all the way to here, so we should be fine. So, and what I could do, I could just pump the polluted water into here. Because that's where my reservoir is anyway. Yeah, I think that'll work. Get rid of that dude. So that will be... Oh, he's got long hair. <laughs> Consumes oxygen. Consumes oxygen? Oh, you're living in the wrong place, dude. He could have stayed up in here and he would have been fine. Why is there so much shit around here? Where's all that polluted stuff coming from? Do we still have sand? Yeah. Okay, you do that, and um, so the natural gas, 
Is this gonna this is gonna be my well? So that's the well. And yeah, like I was saying, the good thing about the petroleum generator and the natural uh, gas generator is they both produce polluted water and they both produce carbon dioxide. So I can make them in the same spot. Very handy. I'll make one of those and I'm going to get rid of that. So I could even put another one above depending on what I need and I'll make one of these. So dig that out. And I'm gonna destroy that. Fuck that shit. Stinky toilets. Um Okay, so the gas from here goes I don't know how hot it'll be, but I, I'm guessing it's not gonna be like a hundred degrees. Goes from there. I could go straight into there. And then if it's full, it can go into into a, a reservoir, I guess. Call you stinky toilet from now on. Thanks. Thank you very much. And then if it's full, it can go. So I assume it's just going to get used up, and then once that backs up. It can go into there. I think that's how it works. And if that's full, then whatever. We'll deal with that problem when it happens. It's, uh, it seems likely that this place is going to fill up with natural gas. And I don't really mind that too much. That's why we're putting this liquid lock there. And I might get rid of some of this, even it out a little bit. Okay, so that's sorted. Uh, carbon dioxide as well. Uh, that could go in here too? Nah, well that should go somewhere else. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. I could feed it to my slicksters down here. How much gas we got? We don't have much gas there. But it'll fill up pretty quickly. Especially from this, this guy. So... I could make another room and delete it. I could send it out here, which is fairly close as well, which is probably what I'll end up doing. But I haven't breached the surface yet, so I'm not going to do that just yet. Or I can make some more of these. Oh, oh, uh, just just two for now then. <laughs> just two. Hey, Parish, how you doing? Just the two. So that'll be carbon dioxide and so that's that taken care of. Let me just run through. So it gets oil comes in. Petroleum goes out. The petroleum will deal, have to deal with that soon. Good day, supernova. Um, it produces natural gas. 
it produces natural gas and um, that gets taken into there if that is full then it goes into here uh, this produces carbon dioxide that goes into there and that produces polluted water goes into here the polluted water I guess we can take from here what I might do what is this cobalt yeah what I might do is I'll put a little sensor and if it goes like above the barrier it'll just go into there this is good because we kind of do need polluted water we're running a little bit low Ooh. What a messy system this is. Don't like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to rejig this. Put another one. My take on infinite gas liquid storage. I I set one up over here. I have seventeen kilos of carbon dioxide in there. <laughs> just gets pumped into there. So, I know it is kind of cheaty, but... I think most people do it because these, these gas reservoirs just don't hold anywhere near enough. If they held, like, instead of 150 kilos, if they held, like, a ton, that would be... I would use them much, much more. Or maybe even if you could make, instead of like a copper ore one, if I could make a copper one. Or a steel one, people would use them more. It's not really, a, it's just delaying finding a proper solution really, at this point. Which is a bit of a shame, because they are, it's a cool concept and I like to keep the resources if I can, even if it's something that I don't plan on using. I feel bad just throwing it away. To space or whatever. Um, what is this? Wait a second. Oh yeah, yeah, it needs, need, yeah, 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 okay. Got confused. So, petroleum has got to come in from here. I hope that won't overflow. I don't think it will. It goes into there. I mean... That's I'll I'll be able to expand it if I need to, so Sticky It's been a great non consecutive twelve months. <laughs> Love your stuff as always smile. Thank you so much, Sticky. Appreciate the one year sub. Hope you enjoy your cool site crown potato badge. Thank you very much, dude. That's there, that's there. This circuit is getting very chunky. Very chunky. But it's fine. <laughs> it's fine for now. We can run on that with one battery, one manual generator, right? It's fine. Oh yeah, this. Wait, what was this again? Carbon dioxide. Cool. It's just all hands on deck here. How are we getting the wrong element in here? How is it happening? Is this overpressured? 300, 2000. 
3,000. Oh, okay. Overpressured. Uh, how much water is there? 100 kilos. I could put this here. <laughs> Because they have to go in there to clean it, uh, to refuel this with rust and salt. Bit unfortunate. And not just that, but like it literally produces chlorine, so there's no way to get around that. Unless I vent it somewhere else. Which is a possibility. Please motivate me to get off the couch. How do I do that? <laughs> I just know. I struggle with these issues myself. I literally sit in my chair for like 15 hours a day. You think I have the answer to this problem? It's cool. So, the only thing that we haven't really sorted out here is power, but they need to build all of this to be able to even get power. But, I mean, we might as well set it up. So, we would need heavy watt wires. Do I want this all to be the one circuit? Or do I want... I might connect them to their own separate batteries. So we'll use, I'll use the petroleum one first, and then if that runs out, we'll use the natural gas. But they won't run out, because they'll both be the same. I don't know. <laughs> uh, will they both be the same? Do I want them both running at the same time? I mean, for this one to run, this one needs to be able to run as well, so I might as well. It saves uh, the amount of batteries that I need to make too. So, I the one, two, three, and ah, there's no way I can fit both. I will just put that there, because if I need to make any other one twice, it'll probably be this one. I think. So that's power. Let's make some automation with a bit of lead. So they'll turn off if that is full. And then then might go a little bit off to the side. And we'll build like We will build What is the point of using large power transformers? Is that just like you have a power highway and then that's like the exit ramp, but then you still have 
more of these further down the line, like the little suburbs or something, I don't know. I don't think I've ever got to a point where I could really use them. Got up. Nice! Congrats! Then I'll put that there. For now. And that will just help to power a bit of this area. So... That's the big one. And then... Small one. Comes out there. Okay. <laughs> this circuit probably is going to need two, but we'll see how we go. Hopefully it's under 2,000. Wee wee! That will keep them very busy for a long time. So, while they set that up... While they set that up, we'll head over here. And first of all, how is this tracking? It's tracking. Tracking. Let's switch it. What are the oblong things? What oblong things? Which ones? How is our natural gas here? Is this off? It's off. This is going to turn off soon, so we kind of need it to be on. The red ones. Red oblongs. Red oblongs. Oh, these things. These are gas reservoirs. It just holds a lot of gas. Is that what you mean? Where are you, Asen? Ceiling collapse. Ah. <laughs> it's always Asen. He's just gonna dig himself out of it. You know what? Don't do that. Oh yeah! Fine. What he's gonna do, he's gonna get put up here. So, do, seven, six, no, eight, seven, six. All right, let's see how that goes. No, he's going to dig first. <laughs> Even though that is a dig, it's not really. Bart boxes, kind of. I mean, a lot of it is natural gas. I don't know why you don't dig that. Because, like, it is... It's so annoying. If I make it a dig command, he'll do it. Go down there! <laughs> I 
It's such a pain in the ass. Alright, let's see. Um... Do that one. Okay, good. So now you're trapped and you gotta dig yourself out. Do it. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. But he just didn't want to build. He refuses to build. That's yeah, fine. I feel like there's going to be a lot of dupes getting stuck in there through various stages of that development, but... Whee, look at all the natural gas. Uh, let me sort this out. This is annoying me. So, I'm just going to have it... Okay. Right down there. I'm gonna go straight in. Both asteroids active at the same time. Yep. Same time. What's wrong? Starving. Go eat. Sick of having to tell you to eat, Devin. Come on, man. <laughs> well, you don't got a brain. Alright, what is this? Copper. Copper, huh? Alright, we've got to get some more copper. Copper, copper, copper. Let's, uh, cop a bit of that. Aha! Nice. Best puns gone round. G'day, Neb. I could, uh, we have seven dupes here and only five things here. I could add some more so that more can get through. But, I don't know, do we need more than five in here at the same time? That's a lot of dupes. Five. Algae, we're at 8.7. 8.7. So the sooner we have this up and running, the better. And what's going to happen? It's going to produce... This is all going to be clean oxygen. What temperature does oxygen freeze at? Minus 183. Okay, cool. So, we've got no problem. That will never become ice. <laughs> Not around these parts. So then I can take the oxygen and like stick it in there. This is oxygen, this will be hydrogen. Let's go like that. Get a soda. And I'm not quite sure what to do with the hydrogen. I I do want to keep that because it could be useful. I do want to keep that. But we could convert it into auxiliary power as well when needed. But for the time being, I think I might 
put it into some more of these these red oblongs, huh? <laughs> red oblongs. Might do that to the side. Oh, I could fit a couple up here. Eh. Messy. Okay. Getting real into Sea of Thieves. I've got Sea of Thieves, but I've never played it because we're waiting for Speedy, and Speedy is just refusing to upgrade to Windows 10, so he can't play it. <laughs> Uh, we'll just go like that. Yeah. And these two will be oxygen. Cool. So... I don't know, do I want to combine that or keep them separate? Because I could have one that goes empowers these two, then I don't need that, and that would be really handy. Also, I'm I'm getting ahead of myself, because before we can even do that, we need water in here, and it needs to be, like, warmer. <laughs> I think when this turns on in 10 cycles, there will be water coming out of it that won't be frozen and it'll probably thaw the rest of the water in there as well. So, I'm looking forward to that. So that will be... Salt water. Salt water goes in there. Salt water comes out of there, and this is when it gets taken on a merry trip around the base. What I should do, I should extend this ladder to like, or even this one, to all of that shit up there. Eh. Like so. But then it can just go all the way down. Does it need to be insulated? I think it's probably better that it's not insulated. But then it, uh, it can transfer a bit more heat to its surroundings. But then that goes all the way, ee, all the way down there. This is, um, okay, good. I was going to say it, uh, it can't be connected to here, but it's not, so that's fine. Like that, and then, um, oh, we drain this. Nice. So I can get rid of that, and I can borrow that pipe. Potentially, for a little bit of the journey anyway. Get rid of that. And that. Nice. So, yes, this pipe. It'll be... Salt water, okay. The salt water comes in. Ooh, snip that there. Actually, snip it there. And then it just goes on like a little trip around, around there. <laughs> Lovely little excursion. Or 
coming back. Eh. Coming back. And it has to go up the same thing. And hopefully, by the time it comes back, it will be warmer than when it went in. Because it needs to be above zero. Okay. What I could even do, I could do... Is there like a... Liquid pipe thermo sensor. There we go. So if it's um, this sends a green signal or a red signal. Okay, cool. So I can get that to send a green signal, and if it's still, I don't know. It's still cold, it can go back around for another loop. Then I need like a kind of valve. Hmm. How do I do this? Oh, damn it. <laughs> so, element sensor there. I think it, it needs to be the, sh the shut off works with automation. It goes in there, checks the temperature. If it's if it's cold, comes out there. If it's not, then it continues on its merry way. And we can probably deal with that around here. Although here we got that thing. Um, <laughs> I mean, is this enough room to do it? Whatever this was, to get, man. I swear I check these like five times a day. This is a cool steam vent. Oh, that would be actually be good too. Okay, so. Right, that's right. That's why I actually left some space because it's useful. I could do that. I don't want to do it so, so high up here. I could even tackle that in here, down the bottom. Because here it's 20 degrees. Yeah, why don't I just do that? Get rid of this whole shit. So, yeah, I'll just build a couple of things around here. Let me see. Grid goes to here. Do I care? If I really cared, I would have gone up here, and then I would have had to deal with that shit, though. I will get rid of this piece by piece. Oh, they can they can do it as they build that. Man. 
So much stuff. The, the good thing about this is that once I finish, they'll just be able to go and build. And we can just sit back and watch. G'day Rapunzel. So here we will have a desalinator or two. I'll put one. I have space for another one if I want. And in will come salt water and out will come clean water. Oh yeah. Clean water right into our electrolyzers. Uh, let's go this way. Good day, XT. How's it hanging? So then this goes into here. Is that insulated? No, it's just liquid. Yeah. In fact, let me do it like that. Then it looks nicer. <laughs> cool. So I think that's all good for now. These will need power. How much is on this circuit? Quite a lot. Quite a bit. But we'll, we'll stick it through there for now. And if I need more power, I'll get more. In fact, I will need more power because we're going to have to power all of that too. So... I might grab... One of these. And build another circuit. We could even do conductive wiring. In fact, that's probably for the best. Although it's only 1000 on there, isn't it? Ah! Watered yet again! By the conductive wiring. So that's when you need this. Why is it four? Why is it four kilowatts? It should be two. Because then it fits perfectly with the conductive wiring. Because there's no way that this circuit will overload. Because it only allows whatever the maximum is. Whereas this one can overload. It's also chunkier. Let me see. 200, 500, 600, 800. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Might even need to take the heavy watt wire through. I could take the wire. Up to there. Don't like. Pretty shitty for morale. But we'll start with that. That can power a few things. I'll do the bridge first because otherwise I'll forget it later. Also, oh no, it can go over a, a ladder, yeah. So I'll use this to power just like the things that are here, like that. And then I'll snip that. Okay, and we'll start from there. We'll start like that. Cool. And building the hydrogen generator around here will probably help that too. Almost put soap on my toothbrush. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Research complete. What did we get? Superheated. Oh. oh! Oh! That was quick. Now we got a glass forge. Produces molten glass from raw sand. Yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, so we're going to sacrifice. I mean, I could just build it here. Cold place. Hell yeah. Jump through here. Okay. Is it cold? It's minus 60. So... Glass Forge. Thank you. Glass Forge. Bang. How much power? 1.2 kilowatts. Ooh, mama. Okay. Uh, you can just sit and wait there. All right, it also needs. Oh yeah, that's molten, molten glass that comes out. Who said he has eight months? Do you want me to check? I can check. <laughs> we'll see who has the most gift. It, I'd love if it's speedy, <laughs> who has the most. Uh, yeah, Vu has eight and now this will be your eight as well. And behind you guys, Lit has six, and uh, Dia has six as well. Speedy has five. Speedy's Speedy's a good boy now, and he he pays for his own. <laughs> Otherwise, he'd probably have more. Vu would probably have more as well, to be honest. Vu gets their own. Good boy. <laughs> New printables. Good morning, Boo. Salt water. Oh. No idea what we'd do with that. <laughs> Might as well. Might as well mop that up too, so it doesn't off gas. I I don't think there's any way we can really avoid it. Oh no, they can they can mop it all. So sends a green signal if below. I think. 450 was the magic number from memory. So we'll set it as that. Wait. If above. If above. I should just make that out of lead. Why am I making it out of copper? The biggest brain. There you go. Good old days with Vu post heartfelt goodbyes in the lounge every month. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Great times. 
Remember it like it was yesterday. Unreachable food. Uh, guys. Because make a ladder here. No. What do they have around here? Granite. Think of having to dig you guys out of here. Oh, good night. Good night. <laughs> Research, so we got the glass forge, now we're going for the gas range. Hell yeah. <laughs> what a mood. <laughs> I love that guy. It's all back, need to pee. So they're going to end up peeing right here. Gonna fall in there. Come on, so close. You're free, yay! No, they didn't pee! Oh, okay, cool. I was like, this is not working? No, but it's uh... To be honest, it should be on the other side, but it's fine. They just want to stop the natural gas from getting in. Low priority? Come on. There you go. As you can see, it's creeping up natural gas. Are those green liquids pee? Green liquids? Is that green? I guess it's green. Some of it is probably pee. <laughs> it's more of a yellowy color though, I would say. Quite enough. Maybe one more. Oh, not quite. <laughs> I guess there's there's a lot of gas that pushes it out of the way. So we've got five units of reed fiber left. Mountain Dew. Would you drink Mountain Dew if it looked like that? I mean, I'm surprised people drink Mountain Dew that looks like some ungodly green color. Like, it's, it's this color, isn't it? It's scary, it's like you're drinking plutonium. Honestly, I'm not sure if I've ever had Mountain Dew. Hey, nice. Okay, that's cool. That will do.
I don't think it's really, it's not sold that much here. It's not like, you can buy it, but it's not a main drink like it is, like it would be in the US. Oh, how do we get polluted water here? Oh well. That's a pain. Get rid of that. That and that. So yeah, they still got plenty of work to do. Got a lot of food though. Stress is not super high. It's only because Aeson got trapped there for like a day. But otherwise it's fine. Uh Wait, where did the floor go? Didn't I have floor there? Or did I just like forget to build the floor? <laughs> Wait, what? What happened here? Backed up again. Ah, oh, but I can fix it for good now. I think. Okay, that's pumping, just as soon as the, that polluted, why is there polluted oxygen, how did that get in there? I thought we got rid of that. You're American now, can you not have Mountain Dew? I'm not American! I'm not! <laughs> uh, Spotify is recommending me Christmas music. I mean, we had Valentine's Day, so it's already... It should be Halloween is next, isn't it? We need a good... Uh, no, Easter is next. I was going to say, we need some holiday between Valentine's Day and, and uh, Christmas. I mean, even Easter is like April, right? There's nothing between April and October. That's a long time. There's my birthday. We can all celebrate that. <laughs> it's nice, bang, mid-year, June, perfect time. Like, uh, space it out perfectly between Christmas. Hi, Minx. How you doing? Where does this go? That should go... Wait, hold on a second. So that goes into there, and then there, and then there, 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 and that doesn't go anywhere. This should go into there. And then we snip this one. Yeah. Then that goes into there, that goes there, 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 and that goes, that funnels into, okay, cool. 
<sighs> Badge looks cursed. What do you mean cursed? It looks great. I made that myself. <laughs> Come on. I think it looks lovely. So is it all... Have we lost our polluted oxygen now? Still a little bit going around. Will it matter a huge amount? I mean, there's already oxygen in there. What is this blue? Oh, water. Okay. I don't think it'll matter too much. <laughs> they just run away. <laughs> so I'll see. Maybe I'll have that connected too. Let's see what happens. Snip that. Nah, I need to need to cut this too. Uh? Why are you going that way? Eh? There you go. <laughs> it doesn't know where to go from there. What I might do is if this isn't running, then I can swap the circuits over, but whatever. Like Post Malone cute ugly. Post Malone is cute. I'm pretty sure Post Malone is just ugly ugly. But it's, I don't know, it's kind of weird because the way that he looks is like completely by choice. All the like tattoos and teeth and stuff that he's done to his face and whatever, like he chose to do that. He looked like a completely normal person before that. <laughs> so it's like, you know, he's, he's doing him. Good for him. Alright. It's just all going in there. So now my only problem will be if I have too much natural gas, that will be the only issue. But yeah, so far so good. I think this is all working-ish. It'll be hard to tell until it's actually done. Did you say I think or pretty sure? I don't remember. Jaden Smith. Does he look different now? Hold up. I need to see. Uh, Jaden Smith. Twenty twenty two. Oh, jeez. Wait. What the? I don't like the- why do people do that to their teeth, like at the- the grill? Not a fan. He kind of looks like- with the hair short like that, it looks like Pharrell. But the teeth- yeah, it's not a good look. Not a good look. Cloud. Mm. Just like, I don't know, maybe if he made good stuff, he wouldn't need to. What does he even do these days? 95. Ooh, this will be done today. We'll have a new friend in there. 
Can we? Oh, I see you behind there. New egg. Who was saying they make one egg per per life? This dude has already laid three eggs. <laughs> what a boss. And this will be... Does it count as sweep only if it's swept by the auto sweeper? Is that sweep only? I'll just leave it. It should be grid of eggs. And this... Send grid signal if above 8, I think. Then it will sweep onto that. I forgot the hotkey for uh, left shift F3. Okay. And then it'll sweep that. And that goes. I could just send it into there to die. Ahaha. <laughs> <laughs> Make it copper ore. That's probably why it took him so long to make. What's the command? Uh, is it add quote? No, you did that already. Um, hold on. Let me find it. I never remember either. It's not just you. When am I going to make a spreadsheet? For commands. Yeah, I should. I forgot about it. I should make it for myself as well, because I don't remember half of these things. Uh, what am I looking at? Commands. It should be add quote. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's add quote and it's quote remove. <laughs> Maybe type like do a quote command, see if the bot is working. Maybe the bot is just not working. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. So it's not you. That's a bit sad. Billy bot. Have I distributed oxygen from here? No. We've sorted the hydrogen, so maybe we'll get onto the oxygen too. So I'll do one pipe to go in here. Sound like the Lord of the Rings monologue. One pipe to go in here. One pipe to rule them all. Um I don't want to go all the way around. I should make another ladder. But it's warm here, isn't it? Is it warm? It'll be cool. sort it out after that <laughs> that's that's enough for now so that's that pipe and then 
This will be for the base. Love that sound. And yeah, that can just kind of get shunted around. I don't know if I can put vents on those top. Oh, so annoying. I regret putting those crown moldings. I'm I'm honestly going to get rid of them. I'm not a fan. And one there, I guess. Oop. One there, one there. Cool. That should be enough. Where's your channel points? What happened to them? Where'd they go? I didn't touch anything. So really, I should be making this out of conductive wiring. Otherwise the circuit's gonna blow. She's gonna blow! Um... Yeah... Hopefully they replace that. No. They, they'll replace the ones that I've already made. Ah, <sighs> yeah. I'll just let them do their thing for now and then I'll fix it up as we go. How long we got? Six cycles. Can we build all of this in six cycles? I don't think so. <laughs> Somehow I doubt it. Uh, we could hire a new dupe now. Ooh, farmer. We've already got a farmer. Thank you. Uh, blossom seeds. Doctor, don't care. Ellie. Early bird is nice. Noodle arms. Not very nice. Thought I thought I said stinker bomb instead of sticker bomb. I'll take that. Whatever. We're gonna need a new fridge at this rate. Where is everyone? Oh, they're working on the stuff that's in the base. Yeah, that's fair. And... You should be ready to hatch soon. Can't wait for that. Hello, come here. <laughs> Yeah. Then there'll be a little baby one as well. Might even get to see it hatch. We should get to see it hatch. Oh, they're even building that. Hell yeah. See, that's the power of having seven dupes here.
Crystalberry? How did it rot? Did it rot from the fridge? Crystalberry. Oh yeah, it's pretty stale. Even refrigerated, it changes. Minus 6% per cycle. So... Where we have more food than we can eat, essentially. Oxygen, very nice. It's even got a lovely floral scent. <laughs> oh yeah. Post this stinky slime lung. Fifty thousand slime lung germs. How many floral scent? Ten thousand. Okay. I wonder. This should be a should be a sterile environment up here, right? Yeah. Too cold anyway. Nice. Ah, uh, did we miss the hatch? No. The hatch of the hatch. Come on, buddy. 100% it says. Whoa. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, he's already tame when he's born. Amazing. Nice. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, so how many do we have? Current count is four. Yeah, two critters, two eggs. Alright, so none of you getting murdered today. The only sad thing is that I don't think it picks uh actually no, it'll take it'll take the eggs. I was gonna say it doesn't choose a, uh which critter to take, it just picks at random, but it doesn't take a critter at all. So the only way it will fail is if for some reason we have like eight elderly critters that don't produce any more eggs. I wonder, can it sweep live critters? <laughs> I don't think so. Nice, that's coming along. Now we're looking good. For now, we'll definitely have to sort that out. I mean, what I think will happen is that will power this bit, and then we'll need to take another one to power this bit. Hey, LTG. And once we start getting glass from this as well, all of a sudden we can build things like this. So I could just go up here and produce power so I don't need to get any power from elsewhere. That would be really handy. Look at that. 17,000 lux. Ooh. I'm not super sure how this works. Converts. High intensity sunlight into power and produce zero waste. Sounds perfect. Sounds perfect. Give me it, I'll pay later. Pay what? I don't even have a... 
<laughs> don't even have a redeemable thing. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> I don't know. Feels like a scam to me. <laughs> They're still busy setting this up too. I wonder... We're gonna run out of water. Out of clean water. That's gonna be a bit of a problem. But what I might have to do is... Dig this out. And I'll have to harvest that. I think this is a one-time harvest anyway. Yeah, single calorie dense food. Uh, does it need to be insulated? It's 20 degrees. I don't think so. A little bit of power. Uh, that should do it. Hi, Kapow. How you doing? Class starts in two days, but teacher told us today. What's about that teacher's not going to show up? 100%. <laughs> oh, sorry, got confused. Wait. This guy can swim in oil, or is he swimming in... I cannot believe he... He flopped around long enough to find a place to actually swim. <laughs> what a boss. Cannot believe that. Can't wait for them to finally build this and then just to uh, work out the bits that don't function. That's half of it. You build some elaborate setup and then there's like seven things that don't work and then you have to rebuild. <laughs> Teacher was 20 minutes late, we could skip class. Yeah, we, we kind of had that thing too. Excuse me? Why are you sleeping? Can you, like, at least sleep there? No, he goes back in! Oh, for fuck's sake. This is becoming a little bit of an issue. We're getting chlorine that we can't get rid of. So, the only problem is, 
we don't really have water. We don't have clean water. We need a way to produce that. Or we could import it potentially. Potentially import clean water. Depends on how much we get over there. I don't want to sacrifice production of clean water there. Uh, I could always turn um, turn ice into water. Make a clean room for water. Like I could make a room for water. It's just, I there aren't really any natural ways of producing water on this asteroid. I guess it's that time of the month again. Thanks for the content, as always. No, thank you, Malfoy. Appreciate the sub. Ten months. Very kind. Thanks for the continued support. Yeah, because I, I don't have any natural geysers that produce water or salt or slush or anything like that. Um, I have ice that I can melt. And tiny, tiny, tiny bit of natural water left. That's it. That's all I've got. So, yeah, either ice, I melt, or I get water from, let's say, from overseas, from over here. Hmm. Yeah, for now, melting the ice is probably the best solution, because this is the water that I've got so far. I'll get more from this. And it's right next to the input too. So maybe that's a solution for later. G'day Ems. How you doing? I don't like this. This is bad. Gotta get rid of that chlorine. See, that's, that's the bad thing about having that. If I had water, I could use hydrogen. And hydrogen will just float to the top. This is not a very livable place. Max gas pressure. Got oxygen there. Then it's polluted here. Gotta make more of these. Surprised stress is so low. Um, not even sure how to really get rid of chlorine. I could just bottle it or stick it in a. What is this? That goes to those. Uh. It's polluted water though. I could send that into there. And then get rid of that. Yeah, then I don't need this whole massive line. Okay. And yeah, then we might just put some some tanks around. I could even put them here. Cause like we got a tank 
for natural gas. Then we got a tank for on yeah for carbon dioxide, and then we can have another one for chlorine. What was this again? This is carbon dioxide. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ask for the fifteenth time. Um. I don't think there's any way for me to do that. I'm gonna have to just fall away. So then I'll put I'll put something like this here. And I'll just have it pump whatever into here. If it detects chlorine, it'll turn on. Something like that. Super simple. I'll have a automation Atmos sensor, just like here. Atmos sensor? No, it needs to be, needs to be, um, That's for pressure. Can I detect the gas element just in the air? Yeah, gas element sensor. It doesn't need to be on a pipe, I don't think. Why is this one blocked out? Refined metal. Oh, you need plastic. Ew. That'll do that. Needs a bit of power. Easy. So I might actually get that going, guys. Might actually get that going. So then they can breathe a little bit better. Okay. Also, will I need to like filter this out? It's kind of annoying that there is some polluted water here. I'm not quite sure where it came from, to be honest. Maybe someone peed? But how would they even do that? Because they're wearing their suits. Would I be willing to do another shoe drop? I guess. I don't mind. Another class today and he told the two classes we have class today. Wow. Everyone's going to be pissed off. Weird. I don't like this. That's fine. I knew that would fall. That's going to get picked up in there. Oh, we did the research. We got a gas range. Oh my god. I don't really know what's good to get from here. I was getting this conveyor stuff. But I don't really need that. Uh, an espresso machine. Rare materials. Ooh. Nah. Ah, transit tubes. Transit tubes. Man. The fuck is that? Sensitive micromanaging. Or micro imaging, rather, I'm gonna say. Alright, we'll, we'll go towards that. 
Have you considered a water lock for your oil refinery room? I have a lock there. I don't care if the natural gas goes beyond that, really. I do care about having chlorine here. I really should have put the lock here, but I think I may... I may just dig this out. Get rid of that room. It's just annoying the placement of some of these items. I don't like. And I'll just get rid of all of this, really. Don't care. Don't need. That all fell down there, that's fine. New printables, give me something nice. More brine. <laughs> or omelettes. I don't need the food. I really don't. Um, this is not bad, but he's not particularly good at anything either. This was a really good idea. I hope K OK doesn't get like thick with that. How did you get in contact with Slime Lung? How is that even possible? There's no slime lung anywhere. Strange. Got plenty of reed fiber, that's good. Got 15 units now. I like it. This turns on in three cycles. Oh god. Should be fine. We built the reservoir, so... And will the gas range fit in here? Oh, just. Yes! <laughs> Love it. Oh, I'm so excited to make good food. I don't even know if there are any recipes I can make. And it needs natural gas. But it's worth it. How is this going? Is this dormant now? Next dormancy in two cycles. And we've saved. Oh, we've saved so much. Oh no. G'day, Vu. <laughs> you got it working. Or you just managed to get a hundred. This is a little concerning. I should probably open up this one. All I need to do is just connect that to there and then we're golden. Pick that there. Is that gold amalgam? Melgan. We still got a fair bit of that. 
And did I make this out of insulated? I did insulated for that. It's 99.4. But, uh... This will be fine until freaking... Where is it? Oh, I mean, it's a gas. Unless it melts, it's fine. I don't think it can be too hot for it. So I could just put that in. We could just go all the way to the top. In there. Uh, obviously that's going to need power. How much power will it need? Not that much. How much is on this circuit? 490. So hardly any at all. Alright. In fact, uh, I was going to say I could close it all off in this small area here. Save me from having to go in. Or I could do... Would I even be able to fit an airlock in there? Do I still stream DST? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Just uh, having a little break from it to play this game for a bit. Airlock. Ooh, it's going to be close. I'll have to maybe move the ladder. Yeah, might have to move the ladder. That can go down there instead. Have them do that. And, um... Put that in there. DLC worth it? Absolutely. Love the DLC. Especially if you've played a little bit of the, like, the main game. Without the DLC, then you kind of know like what's what's going on. Yeah, we'll get this happening. Who's starving? Now we're fine. Hey Dave, how you doing? Just because if, if we just run out of natural gas, that's going to be terrible. <laughs> it's uh, all of our systems will just shut off. So we kind of need that. And it is a bit of a gamble because I don't even know if this thing is on. It could just be dormant for the next 30 cycles and then we're screwed. The good streamers like Jazzy say the game's too hard for them. Well, I think DST... DST probably is harder. I've got 2,000 hours of DST. And I'm still probably not a, a top level player. I'm good at it, no doubt. But I'm not like one of the best. I... I'm 100% sure if I had 2,000 hours in oxygen not included, I would be pretty damn good. I'd be able to do pretty much anything. This is me with like 200 and... How many hours do I have? 255 hours. So, I, I have one-tenth the experience as I do in, in DST. 
pretty much. I think they're they're very comparable games. For both of them, it's I think it won't take you a huge amount of time to get a basic understanding of what to do. And like even with oxygen not included, you understand, like you need air to breathe, you need water to to function stuff and you need food. You know, it's the same kind of needs as you as a human need. <laughs> And I think, because, you know, it uses gravity, it uses the same physics that we also use, so you can understand basics without too much trouble. always end up losing this game around 400 500 days i've never really got past that time either but i mean if you can make it 400 cycles in you're doing pretty well you know that's that's not a failure is this connected this is connected nice so i'm gonna gonna snip that wire might snip it there and I'll snip it there for now. Polluted oxygen. Do I still have deodorizers? I do. I might do a filter. I just, I don't want to have a filter constantly running. And there's, there's a lot of gas around here. Because uh, both of these, they're going to take gas that oh 3000 okay where has got the least amount of here will do oh no it's 3000 there as well 2000 1000 so probably here i'll put vents and um not gates and whatever so if it's not oxygen Basically, we want it to go out. <sighs> Watered by ladder again. <laughs> Damn it. I could do it here. Maybe? Yes. Maybe? And okay, that goes there, and then I need not ribbon. What the fuck is a ribbon? Okay. That's cool. I have 3k hours in this game and a few hundred in DST. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty much the opposite of me. Except 1,000 hours less. 3,000 hours in, in oxygen not included. That's impressive. Because like a lot of the people that have thousands of hours in DST have had it for like 8 years, you know? Or however, however long this game has been around since 2015. Whereas oxygen not included only came out a few years ago. <laughs> so, you're doing well. That's for that one. And we'll do the same thing here. Prevent. Element sensor. Did I do it the right way around? I did.
Okay. Don't have twenty. Don't have two thousand in DS and DSD combined. Have been playing since twenty twelve. Damn. I mean, not everyone needs to have a thousand hours in a game. You know, there are, for me there are only two games that I have over a thousand hours in in the in the Steam era, and that's DST and Rocket League. So. Don't have 2,000 hours in all my Steam games combined. Oh man. I have a... I have a... What do you call it? I was going to say playlist, but it's not iTunes. Like a, a folder of all my games that I have over 100 hours in. I think I've got 13 in them now. 13 games over 100 hours. So that in itself is... 1,000. I'm honestly, I'm a bit surprised as well that Oxygen Not Included is, is done as well as it has. It's a fantastic game. I guess it just goes to show, it doesn't matter what genre it is, if you make a good game, it will do well, you know? And it's, it is a fantastic game. I'm very happy with this. It's it's coming along nicely. It looks good. Finishing those pipes there. That's good. So then... That will be able to come down here. Who's doing this? Glow. Come on, Glow. Glow! <laughs> Go and grab it. Most hours is Skyrim at 900. Woo. That's impressive. It's very impressive for a story game as well. Because, what, you just you've played it again and again and again? It doesn't have online or anything like that. I've still, I'm yet to play Skyrim. I was lamenting about it with my sister yesterday. It's so annoying that... If you want to play Skyrim, a game which came out in like 2010, it still costs like 60 bucks. What the hell? If you want to get the, the remastered one. Like, come on. That's ridiculous. I still would like to play it at some point. Who got hypothermia? Devon. Okay. Come on, Devin. So, is this working? Ah. So, um... Sending a red signal. If it's... Chlorine. Chlorine is green signal. So it detects chlorine, it sends it out there. I think sometimes it may not be chlorine, like yeah we just picked up a little bit of carbon dioxide, but whatever it picks up is not going to be breathable stuff. And it doubles as helping out this as well, because it reduces the pressure here so then this can pump out more chlorine. So that's really good, that'll help us out a lot. It'll also, it should pick up some natural gas here too. How did the natural gas get out there? <laughs> hmm. What a terrible place. <laughs> we got chlorine, natural gas, oxygen, polluted oxygen. I need to put one of these. Maybe if we put airflow tiles there. 
Hey, come on, that's good to go in here, guys. At least their bedroom is nice. Why is this tile here? That was for stopping water or something. I can get rid of that now, I think. <laughs> Damn. That's been there for just like a hundred cycles. Forgotten about. Two Steam games over 100 hours, DST and Witcher. Nice. It's kind of crazy, because like, my... Basically my whole community on Discord and whatever was formed around DST. Yet, for some people, like, it's it's not their main game or it's it's not even in their top five games, they just happen to to be around at the same time playing the same game. And there are a lot of people that have just gone on to do other things, just not play DST at all, and yet they still stick around and stuff. Cool, I like it. Oh boy. This is going now. Didn't even play DST? Well, how did you find it then? What was I doing? <laughs> or what were you doing? Okay, so now that they've moved that... stop that if I can. Um, dig all that out. So then they, they can go around, put the suits on, and all that jazz. XCOM videos? Dying Light? Really? Videos or stream? That's crazy. The videos? I don't even think- they must have got like 30 views. <laughs> Ooh, pack goose. Okay, eat some fish. They're all going to flop around. <laughs> Do we have fish? Cooked fish. What's going on? Oh, this is set up. Nice. Let's put water. Uh, this is sending oxygen. Naughty. Naughty. Stop. <laughs> Should have realized that was going to happen. And a bit of chlorine. Oh, that's going to break so much shit. 
God damn it. I need to do a little filter as well. How much? 1750? Eh. We can get away with a little bit. For this I might do a legit filter. Or maybe not. God damn it. Again, I just follow the ladder all the way up. I can do it here. Okay. Um. Vent. Element sensor. Not gate. Wire. And it can just go out there. Whatever. In fact, hold on. <laughs> I'll try to I'll try to save some of the some of the stuff. Um uh eh, there. Stop some from going in. I'm back. Oh yeah, they're killing the Pakus. Mostly abandoned DST, but I'm stuck here now. Fair enough. I wonder if uh, the video that I just made, I wonder if that would interest you guys. Because uh, I've had some comments already of people just be like, I've, I've had my fun with DST and moved on to other things. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. I understand. I've had my breaks from DST too. So, uh, what am I doing here? <laughs> this is so awkward. Okay, that's fine. And then that covers that. Oh, that was easy. I don't think it's done though. I will say, I it does make me a little bit sad to uh, just have had a community for so long. Inevitably, there will be people who, you know, were around for a while and then just aren't there anymore. Or people that used to play on the, on the dedicated servers but don't anymore. That makes me a little bit sad. There are always newer people who join and become regulars as well. So, like, you, some come, some go. But... Yeah, not much you can do. It'd be like that. Can't expect everyone to just be permanently interested in one thing forever. going here this is working <gasps> oh my god did it just turn on hell yeah and what's the temperature minus 23 cool it's like you can see here it instantly melts but it's slightly it'll get warmer it's minus 50 there or it instantly freezes rather <laughs> We cannot eat that food quickly enough. Okay, so... Ah, come on. 
Really? It was like 1700 when I checked. Get out of here. This is gonna be... No. Natural gas. Might have to like... Dig a bit out or something. Put <sighs> this thing here. <laughs> Polluted water. Fuck. So I can't go too much higher. Oh, it sent it all. Okay. That's why. That's why it had a little bit over pressure. Well, I can... I kind of want to get the liquid lock going before I connect this back up. What are you doing? You can't reach it? What materials we got here? Obsidian. Oh, I already had it too. Oh, it's because cause that's there and you, you're too dumb to think of doing something for yourself. <laughs> oh, we don't even need that. Nice. All this. Are we delivering water here? A lot of content in DSD I haven't touched, including stuff that was already around when I played. Yeah, that's fine. There are a lot of people that are the same. They will just go from game to game to game, just, you know, having new experiences. And sometimes I wish that I was more like that too. And that's, that's what I do when I'm just relaxing as well. Oh, this is going to mess up those machines so badly. At least get rid of it all in like one big chunk. So is this off now? It's dormant. 36 cycles. Woo. Bank account disagrees. I'm old and fear new things. Eh, I don't know. I think it also depends on how you grew up. It's like, I grew up with only having a couple games and thankfully they were mostly really good games that I enjoyed but whether I I wanted to or not those were the games that I I had to play if I wanted to play games it was that I guess I I can turn this off because I'll I'll let it get to a vacuum actually I'll let it get to a vacuum we're down to milligrams <laughs> So it's pretty close to a vacuum anyway, and then it will just turn off, because there's nothing to pump in. Ah, Catalina. Come on down. Will I yeet all the yeast, all the, all the yeast, all the waste to the void? Probably. Probably. Although, you can do like... You can um, do a bit of space stuff with carbon dioxide, so I'll probably keep it for a bit. I had no money growing up, so getting a new game was a huge luxury. Yeah. And most of the games that I got when I was young were either like free as, as gifts or... You know, other means. <laughs> so 
So I, I still feel really bad about buying new games because it's like, you know, games, money, man, it's expensive. Feels weird. Come on, warm up. Minus 41 there. In there. Soda machines you see it too? Soda machines? <laughs> I don't even know them enough to forget them. I hope you can live in natural gas, dude. <laughs> This is, I cannot believe how lucky I am to have a second natural gas geyser so close to the first one. Like, what are the chances? I've already got everything all set up, you know? I don't need to put in any additional infrastructure, really. Legit K. It's gonna be tough. I think, cause like, when I grew up, we never really had a huge amount of money. We weren't poor. We weren't like, well, we were probably middle class to like lower middle class when I was growing up. So, I still have a lot of those kind of tendencies to try and save as much money as possible and like not spend not buy things that I don't need. I... It's a bit better having my own money, you know, I... I still buy snacks and stuff occasionally. But, like, every time I... I get the, the bill, it says that I... We spend, like, half as much as a single person household. Is, is what it tells us anyway, on electricity and things. And there are two of us here. We don't we don't spend that much on groceries. We just we buy the food that we're gonna eat that week and that's it, you know. So when I when I see things like traveling overseas, you know, costing a thousand dollars just for the ticket there, like you not even doing anything, not accommodation just to get you there that's a that's gonna be a major hurdle you know <laughs> it seems like a lot it is a lot but it it also seems like a lot I hope this will eventually warm up I think once we connect it it will it might be able to take a little bit before it freezes Ryan Ice, it's so close, minus 22.9, and it freezes at what temperature? Minus 22.5. Eventually it will, it'll melt. I keep saying freeze instead of melt. Wife also brings up any purchase I make when he looks at the statement. Fair enough. That would definitely make you think twice. I've been trying to get into the mentality that buying things that I will use a lot is uh, would be a good investment. Like, it would be better to buy, if you need a, a shirt for work or something, it'd be better to buy a $100 shirt that will last you years and years than a $20 shirt that will last you like a month or two months or something. And you have the added bonus of it just being a better shirt, you know, it'll, it'll probably look nicer, it'll probably be more comfortable. Uh, we should get some research going. Or should we? No, we'll, we'll keep it going. Because these things are probably going to take time. We'll go through column by column. Don't give me that now.
There we go. We have a little bit. <laughs> and how are we going on this asteroid? It's uh it's red because it's not chlorine, it's natural gas. <laughs> but that's fine. We won't be getting any more natural gas. In reality, I should probably put that down the bottom here. So they just get rid of everything. And let me just snip that. New principles. Ah. Agriculture. Don't think we need that. Do we, should we make these bedrooms a little nicer? They're pretty nice. They could be nicer. What's the temperature? It's 17 degrees here. Mm. Put some plants. Um, why are you doing that? Stop that, please. Wait a second. Okay, I think we're, we're still fine. We need to close that off though. Why do they sleep there? It takes him so long to get down, maybe? But it's not even that far. Saving up money and definitely never using it on things that make you happy is a waste. Yeah, I, I agree with that too. I... Like... I like to use money if I have it, but also I, I try to live within my means. Like, I'm not making a huge amount of money, so I don't really want to spend that much either. It kind of goes hand in hand. Is this a good pipe? Okay. For me personally, I, as much as I've enjoyed, like I've been on holidays to you know, Queensland, I've been to Europe, I've been to Tasmania. Um, and they've been really good, but I I also enjoy just as much going like an hour away and just staying in a in a house that's not my own, you know. I can relax anywhere. I'm pretty easy to please. <laughs>
Damn. This is a lot of work for them. They've done surprisingly much of it. Okay. And once I get rid of that, I will... Um... Whoop. Hey! <laughs> Uh huh. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know how you managed that. <laughs> then the liquid lock will go like here. Is that about it? That's uh... Mm. That's where the ladder should be. So we'll have it like that, maybe. And then liquid lock just after there. Then I'll close that up as well. And uh, we need to fill that with water. Cool. I like the way that you, you separate your accounts, okay? I think that that works pretty well. I don't think I really need to do that myself, personally. I have a, a fairly good understanding of money that can be spent and money that should be saved, but... Like, if I, if I have a month where I make a fair bit more than I need to live, then I'll, I'm much more likely to spend it on something. Like, the month that I got my, my tax return back, I bought a graphics card. <laughs> G'day, Yoga Booga. Hope you're doing well. I need to look at... Uh, more ways of making passive income, things like stocks. Things that are more safe than like crypto. <laughs> crypto is not that good. Oop. Bitcoin is dropping. Yeah. I think, I don't know, I'm just kind of, I originally, a while ago, I thought that crypto would be good, like as a, just as a kind of money, I thought it would be a better kind of money than what we have now, but I've, I've come to realize that it's not really the case. I don't think, one, it probably won't ever replace the money that we have. And, yeah, wait, wait a second, maybe this should be on the other side, <laughs> but then they don't get yucky lungs at all, but whatever, I'll, I'll leave it like that for now and then they can change it later. We'll get further and further down. <laughs> I have to make this mistake many times before I finally figure it out. Can you guys get rid of that, please? No NFTs, nah. 
NFTs are shit. I think, I don't think NFTs made crypto worse. I mean, I, th I think they more highlighted the problems, the issues that crypto had to begin with. Anyone screenshot the monkeys? <laughs> and it's funny because I, I see people with uh, get into NFTs and it'd be like, oh, you know, you can make so much money if you just get in quickly. Everyone's going to adopt it. You know, it's going to become mainstream and then we're all going to be rich, blah, blah, blah. And it seems so dumb, like, how can you be so gullible like that? But it makes me think, like, I had pretty much the exact same thoughts with crypto just, like, several years ago. So, how can NFTs be bad and crypto good? It's like, they're both shit, really. So, I'm going to... Snip that one and do that one, and this will be chlorine. What is it currently? Come on, I know there's chlorine there. What is it? Is it carbon dioxide or chlorine? You're messing with me here. Does it need power? No. What is... It says carbon dioxide there. I'm very confused. Carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Hello? Work, you stupid thing. I and art scammery. It's, it's gambling with extra steps. It's gambling and it's grifting. Environmental impact. I think, I don't know. The environmental impact, I'm sure it's not great, but I think it is probably a little bit overstated. Like, everything has an expense to run it. Oh shit, it freezes. <laughs> uh, uh, right. I didn't think of that. I could do polluted water, but then that will off gas. I could do oil. Put some oil in there. <laughs> crude oil. Amazing. Not wasting energy if the work done is useful. Yeah, well I think the argument is that you can do the same work much cheaper. And it's probably valid, but yeah. NFT uses the same amount of energy that an EU resident uses in a month is overblown. Well, I mean, it's bad. 
It's bad, but I don't think the worst thing about it is the energy thing. It just doesn't provide a benefit for society in the way that people think it will. Nice, Chris. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> that was my first thought. So, it's kind of weird. This is actually going to be polluted water. So, it might not be the worst thing for it to fall down there. We just need to make sure that this is ready to catch it. What the fuck is that? Why do you not sense anything? What the fuck? How can you not- uh, This is so frustrating. How can you not sense anything? It has to be either chlorine or carbon dioxide. Oh, thank you. Send it all away. Send it all. You guys, I mean, I don't, I'm not, I don't need to argue with any of you guys because you all agree with me. But there, I watched a really good video about why NFTs and by extension crypto sucks. I think it was, uh, what was it called? It was like line goes up or something? Or line goes down? It was really good. How is that water? How is it minus two degree water? Magic water. Unbelievable. We all have crypto in this chat. I mean, I do still have it. I have some crypto. I'm, uh, I'm gonna sell it though. I've kept it, it's basically been in tether for like the last two years. So, it's maintained its value. I haven't done any trading or anything. Um, uh, no. I said to do this first. Why don't you listen to me, Devon? Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Kay. Oh, look at this fish. He made it into here now. Wasn't he in there? Oh my god. Idle. Oh, you're stuck? Okay. Again. Why do they not realize that build requires the dig first? Asen. <gasps> Ooh. Uh. Oh. How much food do you have? Oh, you got 900. You'll be fine. So. Um, 
How do I get you out of here? Fuck, just that one should be enough. Take it out of tether because they're not really pegged to the dollar anymore. Yeah, I know, it's not it's not one to one, but it has stayed relatively the same. I've kept an eye on it. It goes up a little bit, and then it goes down a little bit. Why are you freaking stupid? Can I make this out of abyssalite? No. <laughs> Um, oops. Okay, you're free. You stupid, stupid dupe. <laughs> water is left in here okay we're getting some good and this is slowly but surely being set up uh, what happened here it melted again okay let's jump back here where nothing has oh no I've set up some some stuff this is new Okie dokie. Uh, it worked for a bit. Interesting. Oh boy. Wait. Oh, it went back. Because <laughs> uh, that's an intake, of course. Oh, so it's all coming out there. No. Go back. You silly. I should cut it off there. Crypto and NFTs, they're not gonna die unless people stop being stupid. As long as you have an influx of gullible people who think they can make money off it, it will survive. How are we going? Oh, our algae, we're down to two tons. Yikers. Let's uh let's get some more. <laughs> Dig that out. We have 200,000 kilocals. I don't think we need it. Um, 
I don't want any of those tubes though. More fish. Also, you. How did you get there? If you get scammed, no government will help you. I mean, if you get scammed with crypto in general, no one's going to help you. I'm sure everyone has seen those. Those uh, tweets where people are like, help, someone stole my, my ape. And OpenSea is just like, oh, like, what do you want us to do? <laughs> you shouldn't have given it to this person then. Get another research going. Mini gas pump. I guess that stuff's made out of plastic though. But we'll, we'll use it, maybe. So we're actually getting quite close to this being done. Scary. Open City losing 200 mil. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, there's someone sent out like an email that looked genuine and it was just like you have to send all your money here before such and such date or else it's gonna you won't be able to use it anymore and people did and then they're like wait a minute. I saw someone commented it's like crypto and NFT is like it's like a paradise for hackers and grifters. You know, through a combination of gullible people, so much money, no oversight, and just like terrible security. It is so easy to make like heaps of money. Yeah, those people collected just like millions of dollars. <laughs> Over a weekend, just because people were stupid. I don't know. Sometimes I do kind of feel a bit bad for people in those situations though. Because a lot of it is comparable to things like betting. And um, you can get addicted to trading and stuff. Crypto or stocks or whatever. Crypto is a lot easier because it's very volatile. So you can, you can just sit there trading and the price will change within hours or minutes, you know? So... Like you could see, you could see your money go up and be like, oh damn, you know, let me do another trade and turn that $100 into $200 and then it could happen. And then at the same time, you could lose it all just as quickly. So, I don't know. Why are they not putting that there? Oh, it's worn. It's worn. Um, do I have reed fibers? Yes, I do.
and lose money with stocks, no one will stop <laughs> At least like stocks, you put your money in like something super safe, like an energy company, and you won't be losing that. You won't be losing money unless the market crashes. I feel like stocks is just a way of companies to get funding from people and like they will use that funding to generate more income than the people will get but then the, they'll give the people a little bit back. That's how I see stocks anyway. Look at him grilling all the food. Still a lot of polluted oxygen here. I think it is still coming out of there as well, so that's worth remembering too. It's it was never gonna get completely clean until we clean all of that away. Can I just dig this out? Yeah, that's the one. Like you can also make money by just taking your earnings, your appreciated position and, and leaving. Hey, whoa. What is this sensor? I think we're doing okay here now. You can see a lot of the stuff has moved over here, which is not great, but at least it's not here. So I guess here would be a great place to melt some water or to melt some ice because it's warm and then I could use that. I could even put it, melt it here, send it back through here to cool it again and make oxygen through that. But man, that's going to take a while. Thank you, Akilanova. Appreciate the follow. Hope you're doing well. We're fairly close to getting some meaningful production going here. Um, I didn't even think of maybe putting a liquid lock here, but I don't think it matters if some gas escapes from there. The main thing is to make oil. It's not a big deal. And I haven't looked at skills either. Could probably upgrade nails because nails needs more carrying and that's about it. That's all I'm willing to give you right now. Why are you so unhappy? I think it's because she can't move that fast. <laughs> so... Let's mop this. Okay. But besides that, things are going okay. Oh, it's just all going through. Hold on. If it's oxygen, send it through. And if it's not, so that is for the suits as well. Oof. 
I might have to snip that one as well. A bit of a snip. Otherwise it's gonna send it all out there and I don't like that. That's not what I want. That, that ain't it. Uh, we gotta get up there. Don't we? Gotta get up there. Hey, this weather, it's been cold for days. 15 degrees. Come on, Vu. Come on. 15 degrees. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's funny, like, some days you're cold. It's like, our the same temperature we have here. Right now it's it's 31 degrees. <laughs> but now is not one of those times. Hold on, let me check the weather real quick. Yeah, every other day this week is going to be between 22 and 26. Every day. I cannot wait for this to be done. It's so exciting. I probably should have put a gas bridge, even if I don't need it, just so that they... it knows which direction to go. But it's fine. I snip. Active 93 cycles, so it's going to be gone for another 85 cycles. Hell yeah. Minus 25, minus 20. Yeah, it warmed up here a fair bit. And this, it, uh, it was supposed to travel down. Oh yeah, we got one blob. <laughs> one tiny blob that made it. And is it getting warm? It's 30 degrees! Oh my god. Forty degrees! Gonna be some pretty hot water. 24 degrees, that's better. I wonder, what is the temperature by the time it gets back in here? 13, 10, 9, 8. That's actually perfect. Where'd it go? <laughs> Where's, give me the water, you stinky. <laughs> it just like ate the water. Um, I'll keep him enabled actually. I'll I'll just snip that as well. Snipping is it's the best way to just disable something you don't want working. I just wanted to see it go through, you know. Snip that there. Pelagosta in parts of the Caribbean are canonically cannibals. Who do they eat? Each other. <laughs> Next question. Like you see them eating vegetables and stuff, so they 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 have plenty of food to survive, I guess. They throw like all the fruit and stuff 
on the on the big kebab stick. Oh nice, it does work. But if this freezes, then that would be bad. That freezes, it would be very bad. <laughs> So, I'm gonna, no, the disabling is too slow, I'm gonna snip it, it can back up there, because I don't think that's gonna get to minus 20. Fuck, no, not a cold damage. Oh, it's got too much pressure? Too much pressure? Fuck out of here. It's all gonna break. Ah! Huh? What did it get entombed with? Ice. Since when does ice... M freezes into a legit thing? Or maybe it's the air? <laughs> so remind me not to turn this on until, whoops, until we're ready to use it. Otherwise it breaks because it's cold. But now all the water's gone, so it's fine. And that can sit in there at one degree. At one degree? Oh boy. There may be some teething problems. Four degrees. 0 0.7. 0 0.8. It's warming. Oh. Thank Jeepus. This asteroid? No, it's, uh, it's just the... Uh, standard one. That was just a random cold pocket. Omelets, huh? I just send all my food here. They can eat it, have good food. Who's stressed? Devon, of course. Who else is it gonna be? Don't use that yet, please. Almost done here. I might just speed these things along a little bit. Uh, what? Are, why are we getting the wrong gas? Ah, oh, okay. What's the gas pressure here? Hmm. Come on. Mm. So I just let it break for a bit until it figures out what gas it needs or do I pump that somewhere? I think I will need a better solution. Gas filter. So that goes in. That comes out. Nip. And out of here. 800, 1000, 1000, 1000. Yeah, it's fine. That's just whatever. 
And that's going to need some power. Good thing it's right there. Okay. But, I don't know, do we want this producing that for now? Because it's going to go to this. That is going to power that. That is going to... Yeah, it might be good actually. It'll start getting things going without the dupes manual labor. And that could speed things along as well. Okay. Carbon dioxide. Are they doing this anymore? Not allowed. Because they're sleepy. Okay. These are full. Not good. Not good at all. This whole setup is very wonky. I'll, I'll probably have to find a way to sort it out in the future, but for now it'll it'll have to do. So this um, output is all except for natural gas. Natural gas goes through the pipe. When we get power. All things considered, I think we're doing okay over here. So let's check back here. Oh yeah, the gas range. Ooh. Oh, you need a pinch of pepper nut? Man. I mean, we'll make it when we've got it. Cause man, that, look at that great quality. <gasps> Mushroom wrap, we need lettuce. Fuck, I haven't even seen lettuce. Surf and turf, cook fish and barbecue, sleet wheat grain, tofu, more lettuce, grub fruit, superb. What's the best one? It's like ambrosial. Yeah. Ambrosial. And it has radiation resistance. Fuck. Oh, that's crazy. I mean, we'll be able to get more barbecue stuff. Barbecue is good on its own, like... Where is that? Barbecue is plus three. That's amazing. That's probably one of the best things you can get here. Yeah, it's better than what we're cooking. We'll be getting that from these guys soon enough. Oh, we've got... <laughs> cramped? Why are you cramped? How many critters we got? Eight. Damn. I guess the limit is seven. So watch this guys. If it's set up, one egg goes in two eggs. Hey. Hello. I said just one. <laughs> or maybe there are eight things now. There are six now. It picked up two. <laughs> Alright, one for free. Oh, 
I love this. Shipping is honestly one of my favorite things in this game. <laughs> Underwater. <laughs> so, in. It's 23, and you're 44. Okay. So, in like 10 days, we're gonna get some free barbecue there. <laughs> But now what we can do, in fact, I might just use that to double this. Because then instead of getting like a couple eggs, we can double that and get more than a couple. Yeah. Uh, I have some water here that I'll need to probably get rid of. And this is all iron. No thanks. Do that. What else is it? Ah, uh -uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sensor. Okay. Crude sensor goes there. What else is this? Um, auto sweeper. Bang. And last but not least, conveyor loader. Okay, that's that. We'll have to dig all that out as well. So they'll need to... Oh. Oh. <laughs> not liking that. Maybe I should... Uh, get in there, huh? Or build it from underneath. Let's take a liquid pipe back home. And that can go... Gonna go into there. Nice. Okay. You never use too much, or you never have too much water as well, so. <laughs> Why is there no power? <sighs> oh boy, it's all gone. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Forgot about that. Um, no. Ah, shit. And there's still too much pressure here. Oh, it's all falling apart now. Wow, we ran out of that so quickly.
Um, we're gonna need... We're gonna need a, a manual generator <laughs> just for a little bit. So they can at least get through. Hi Panda, how you doing? Yeah, that's, that is not good. They can run on that for a bit. And when they get in here... I mean, it's almost ready to go. They just need to dig this out. Get them to do that. They can analyze that in their spare time, whatever. And pray that it works. Good night, Kate. Have a good one. Yeah, just pray. In fact, that'll only power this. Then we'll need this can power. Yeah, that can power the rest. Oof. We'll have to enable that again. And. We'll probably get a bit of damage from it being the wrong element, but that's fine. It's already the wrong one. Why? What is this? You're fine. Okay. That is priority number one right now. In fact, there's no point even sending this until we get some some gas, any gas from from there. Good night, Chris. When does this turn back on? 25 cycles, it's not that far away. So, how long did we last? We had about maybe four tanks full. And we lasted maybe 20 cycles. There you go. They just need enough to be able to get in. Oh, they're going to harvest that first. Come on. Here we go. Become the diggers. And it works. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay, good. Let's get that going. Oh. Who's going to do this? Okay. That's pretty important. We need to see that straight away. And... It's a low priority, we'll make it a slightly higher priority. 